Welcome. Welcome to N2QOJ's one minute amateur radio video tutorials that last longer than a minute. Alrighty, some of you folks are, um, most of you folks are familiar with QRZ.com. That's the page I have up in front of you. I'm going to show you a couple little known features of it, um, mostly with helping you to locate hams in your area. As you can see, I'm logged in as N2QOJ. It's a free registration. I'm going to do a search for a call sign. I'm going to search for, and you can see all the ones that I search for here, to QOJ, the history. I'm going to search for me. And there I am. There's my bio. A picture of me and my motorcycle from many years ago. Ten years ago. Now, if I click on detail, which this tab only operates if you're registered and logged in, which you need to do, then it's free. Uh, also, mousing over to get someone's email address, if it is there, only uh, happens if you are logged in. So I'm going to click on detail, and there's some more detail of N2QOJ. Uh, license expiration, grid square that I'm located in. We're going to talk about grid, grid squares in a second. And to your right, show map. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to, if the address is correct within um, the database, it's going to show a map of location. And there I am. For me, it happens to be exact. That is where I'm located. Now, look here at the bottom. Explore ham on ham grid maps. Let's try that. Now what you're going to see is the grid that I'm located in, latitude and longitude, was, which was also on the previous screen, but now here is quite easy to see. And now you can see the actual Maidenhead grid locator around my area. Now what is a Maidenhead grid locator? Well, VHF contesters like to locate and exchange grid squares um, because they're dealing with different kinds of locating than an a DX. So back in, oh, let's see, we'll go to here to go to here to ARRL and search on grid squares. You'll see here it says the Maidenhead locator system named after the town outside London when it was first conceived by a meeting of European VHF managers in 1980. A grid square measures one degree latitude by two degree longitude and measures approximately, approximately 70 by 100 miles in the continental U.S. Okay, I won't get into how that grid locator system actually works, but you can just go to Wikipedia, look it up. And you'll get all the information you would like on how to do that. Also, uh, if you just do a simple search, let's see, Maidenhead. Okay, there, grid, map, file type, PDF. That'll give me only search results that have a PDF file. And we select that, and we get all these PDFs. Let's look on the first one. And, oh, there you go. There's a nice grid square map by ICOM. There's many others. Just use that wonderful tool called Google or some other search engine. I am DM43FF. DM43FF is right here. FF uh, signifies uh, a sub square within the square or rectangle within the grid. Alrighty, going back to QRZ. So now look what else it says here. Show hams. Look at the hams in my area, in my grid square. Showing 11 hams in my grid square. Okay, if I zoom in. Oops, let me go back out. I clicked outside the square, so it lit up another square. DM43GF, and then you see nobody's there. So if I mouse over now, over these dots, you can see who they are. 
and maybe somebody who's watching this will see theirs okay and that's how easy it is to check on hams in your local area now of course it's not always accurate because sometimes people don't update their addresses or may have input it incorrectly and so forth but you can turn on grid squares all around you and look at densities now you can see Mesa quite dense okay anyway I just wanted to show you that because it's a nice tool to see who may a quick tool to see who may be around your area alrighty of course you can go to do a query of let's say San Tan Valley AZ search by name address and now we'll get a listing of all the hams that are noted in the database as Santan Valley Arizona you see this 159 matches and four pages worth so that's an interesting way to see it you'll recognize some names here okay uh, and there's Sean what's nice about this is that you can certainly get a list and then drill down on one of these guys alrighty but the um, grid square trick is really quite handy there you go I hope you found this informative and thanks for watching into QOJ's one minute amateur radio tutorial that lasts longer than a minute seven three